Muslims love criticizing the text of the New Testament, and the vast, vast majority of them know absolutely nothing about it. Here's a good example from a recent exchange on this channel. You don't have a gospel referencing the resurrection or ascension. I responded with a reference from Mark and Luke, respectively, to which he changed his argument about the resurrection not being in any gospel. In response to Luke 24, 51, he said the phrase about Jesus being carried up into heaven is not in Codex Aleph. There's actually very good reason for retaining the reading, and I began to provide some evidence, like an important 3rd century manuscript as an example. Notice I said it's a 3rd century manuscript, and I even provided a link to view the manuscript. The response, they don't predate the 4th century. All he had to do is click on the link I provided him where he would have seen that P75 is a 3rd century manuscript. Had the conversation continued, I would have provided even more evidence. Most witnesses, including the earliest manuscripts, have and was taken up into heaven. It's in the vast preponderance of authorities, and it's almost certain that the words should be retained. That's why the reading is in the standard text of the Greek New Testament. On P75 specifically, it is the consensus view that it dates to the early 3rd century, but one scholar has recently argued that it could be later. While the scholar being referred to is beginning to be more responsible in his dating of manuscripts, he does give a list of names who do not necessarily agree with his work. This list includes some of the world's best papyrologists. And today, P75 is still dated to the early 3rd century, according to the INTF. But why provide all of this information when all I get in response is a roll of the eyes? But wait, there's more. He asked, which New Testament, Catholic or Protestant? Not really sure what he meant. I clarify that Catholics and Protestants both use the same Greek New Testament. Now, the Greek text between the NA28 and the UBS5 is the same. It's the text-critical apparatus that's different. Apparently, hearing all of this information for the first time doesn't prohibit him from making a judgment. Since the text-critical apparatus is different, then clearly the variations do pose a problem. In reality, the difference between the two is streamlining. The NA28 is much more detailed, more exhaustive. With its apparatus, the UBS5 is more streamlined. That's the difference. The Greek text is the same. This is what it's like trying to talk to a Muslim about the text of the New Testament. So why do it? Quite honestly, I have better things to do than try to present information to someone who's just going to roll their eyes in response. So why not let someone else do the hard work? In a recent debate between Bart Ehrman and Daniel Wallace, Daniel Wallace gives an excellent opening presentation that's absolutely essential, nuts and bolts type essential knowledge for talking about the text of the New Testament in any sort of intelligent way. For the one or two Muslims out there who are actually interested in this topic, please click on the link and the pinned comment it will take you right to. It's also probably a great review for many Christians watching as well. So for the Muslims out there who just want to roll their eyes, well, keep right on doing that, but don't expect a response from me. For the rest of you, enjoy Dan Wallace's presentation in the pinned comment below. See you next time.